And here to discuss the new justice and the high court is Penny Nance with Concerned Women for America, the nation's largest public policy organization for women. Welcome, Penny. Oh, thank you for having me, Mark. It's an honor to be here. Love Christian Broadcasting Network. Thank you so much. Concerned Women for America campaigned hard for Barrett. How big is this victory for conservative women? This is such a joyful moment. Just to give you a little perspective, Concerned Women for our members, America members around this country were calling their senators and advocating for Amy Coney Barrett. I personally called the president before her nomination and suggested that she would be one of the great people on his list. And um, and uh, thankfully, he, he had already, I think, already uh, agreed with me on that and nominated her. And then we proceeded to be in 12 states on a bright pink, about the color of my dress, Aim, Women for Amy, um, and a She Prays, She Votes initiative bus, and all over the country in the key battleground states advocating for her. So this, this was a great moment for us as conservative women to have really one of our own, a woman of faith, a mom, a woman who understands our perspective in life, but most importantly, a constitutionalist on the court. One case Barrett faces right out of the gate involves Catholic social services being shut down in Philadelphia because of its stand for traditional marriage. How do you think that's going to go? Yes, this case is not just focused only on Philadelphia because we're seeing this around the country. Um, for all the Christians who think they can just, you know, live their life in their pews and be left alone from the left, this is a lesson. What we have seen in Philadelphia and around the nation is Christian uh, option placement coming under attack because the race can't exist and, and actually do exist that have a different view of marriage, and that's fine. They simply want to live out their faith in, in their, in their uh, ministry of adoption. And so you saw in Philadelphia the City shut them down because if they did not concur and weren't willing to place kids with same-sex couples, then they could not exist. This case is important because this issue hurts children. And so as an adoptive mother, a woman who's actually lived out her faith in her life, I'll be very interested interested to see where Justice Barrett comes down. This shouldn't just be uh, a case that we have only conservatives. This should be a 9-0 case. This is about religious freedom that is guaranteed in the First Amendment, and it is about protecting children. What are your thoughts on Democrat nominee Joe Biden's talk about changes with the court to accommodate more liberal justices? Quickly, we're almost out of time. Yeah. Court packing is a horrible idea. It's one that was tried and failed before with FDR. You can't just change the rules of the game because you lost Joe. President Trump won. He had three picks. He lived up. He gave us his list. He lived up to his promises. And that is very essential. We need to recognize we have three Supreme Court justices because the president followed through on his word. All right. Penny Nance with Concerned Women for America. Thanks for your time, Penny. We appreciate it. Thanks.